Hold it right there. I know what you're thinking when you see that wing back there. I know, no, you didn't miss the entire video. This is the beginning. This is just me, Matt, from the future, yeah. I wanted to wait until the wing was on so I could film the beginning of this, just if there were any intricacies or whatever. There weren't. It's pretty simple. This is a super easy install. Don't get intimidated. Do it. If you're considering it, do it. I definitely can't not repeat the words do it, seriously. This was fun. If I wanted to speed through it, probably take two, three, maybe four hours if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you have no clue what you're doing, maybe five or six hours. Have a second person, have a mate, have an assistant to help you. Uh, if not, it's okay. But tentatively, everything's gonna be listed down below that you need, tools, all that stuff, accessories, optional things, the luxuries that maybe really help this, like that, that bench back there that really, really, really helped me. You'll see why in the video, all this will get explained. Just for your advantage, I'm not gonna push this on you, but hit that red rectangular subscribe button down there. There's a bell notification, turn that on. On. That's just if you want these videos more advantageously, it's going to be advantageous for you uh, to, to get them because YouTube will just push them on you. Ultimately, this was wickedly easy. This wing, and look how good it looks. It's frame mounted, it's quality, it's identical to the wing that you're going to get from factory if you get a zero one, but guess what? Some of us, we don't want a zero one. MSRP on this was 104, got it down to like 71. I'll make a video explaining that too. Not gonna derail though, this video is about the wing. Some of us don't wanna spend 150 or double the price of a car that isn't double the value. And that's why on my Z06, or even your Grand Sport or Stingray, this will fit. Teamed up with EOS, Extreme Online Store, to bring this content to you from Track Slayers. And well, it's on the channel now, so give yourself a nice little refreshing lemonade or something. Sit back, watch this, learn it, study it, watch the video a few times, order the wing, and when you do, watch this install because I'll walk you right through it. I try to keep it down as quick, simple, and efficient as possible. Definitely just focus and you'll knock this out. Just dive right into it. I'm gonna try to be, like I said, as quick as possible, but oh, it looks so good. It really does. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna stop right here. Hopefully I was diligent enough to have filmed an after action report and explain briefly the things needed for that. Gonna try to condense this into a 30 minute video. Probably gonna take you longer than 30 minutes, but we got everything out here. Extreme Online Store ZR1 kit, the wing kit, the high wing, the tall wing. We got all the brackets and everything. All the parts are out. First things first, gonna have to pull the bumper off. Uh, that way you can get to all the goods good bits in here, all the inner parts, uh, so you can start doing the framework and whatnot. Once you set the framework, you can build up, and then you gotta drill holes, and uh, that's essentially it. Just so you know, the parts are labeled right and left with a nifty R, and an L. Got a bunch of bolts there, gold pieces, and regular metal and stainless some rivets and stuff, all of the tools, everything required. Very similar to the OEM stuff, uh, if not stronger, which I'm a big fan of Extreme Online Store's quality. This stuff's been really awesome ever since the uh, first thing I installed. This stuff and the wing, or front splitter up there, I'm sorry. I have everything laid out here just for your convenience so you can see it. Uh, if you wanna do that and take inventory, that's good too, but move this out of the way, set something down unless you're lifted up in the garage and have that luxury. Uh, just prep to have this bumper being pulled off and somewhere to place it. It's a very awkward piece. Maybe a blanket or something, wrap it in a blanket. That way when you put it down, you're not scratching anything. You wanna make things look nice. Keep that in mind. Move this stuff out of the way, bumper off. I have a video that shows how to get all this stuff out, but I'm not gonna go into detail for the rear bumper removal. I'm gonna mainly focus this video on the wing, but some bolts, some bolts. License plate's gotta be removed. Trim on the other side as well. You do have to pop these out too, again, uh, the video will be up here if you need to learn how to remove the bumper. Pretty simple. The millimeter bolts are going to be down there on the bottom on the underside. And then up here, you have the torques that all need to slither out. And then you're set, my brother. You're all set. It's going to be a big fat yank. I can't stress this enough. I have a video, a playlist dedicated to removing this whole back of the car back when we wrapped it. Please, just open up a new tab. Do not exit out of this because you'll it'll start you from the beginning open up a new tab up there i'm going to click you know post a card up there i really hope i remember to do that then you're good to go you just yeah learn learn and become wise i know i said to go click on the video but if you can kind of 
be smart and figure it out for yourself. These are all the bolts. It's a, I had sevens and eights. And on the bottom side, uh, this stuff was just pull it out, clip it out. You're gonna notice a lot of stuff feels like you're almost gonna break it, just yank. Make sure everything's off first though. It's like a, a gentle yank. <laughs> After you pull that off, uh, you got a seven. I had a seven millimeter and a, like a mixture of seven and eights down here. Uh, there's two there. You're just kind of detaching the diffuser because the diffuser is connected to the bumper, but the diffuser is connected to the subframe. Uh, and then you have the you have the license plate bolts right here. And then to the exhaust, there's two tens. And then there's another Torx inside. I yanked out that other side. Uh, I would recommend you having two people to do this and a way to sort of rest the bumper. I have this here. This isn't going to scratch the bumper. A bit of a cushion. I should probably get a blanket anyway. I'll do that too. Quick little yank. Then you got to disconnect the backup camera from that. Once you do that, you can start doing all your framework. Right here, just to cushion that stuff when I pull it off. You're going to notice if you can try to zoom in. You're just going to have to have faith. It's a pool. Under the wheel well guards, little mud guards in here, there are two Torx bolts. I left them in there just because this is like a felt liner in here. It's got a lot of forgiveness in it, a lot of flexibility. I didn't want that to completely fall off on this side, just in case you have one person doing this. Highly recommend you don't do this with one person, but it's possible. Bit of a close up here, you can see these clips, these red clips in here will hold that in. They just kind of push in and yank out. Um, we're not taking anything further off once we get the bumper. Another reason why I do that is because I personally don't have anything that can just get in there. So I need that little extra space, like I barely have the clearance. I've got my knee holding this up. I have a second person with me, but just to show you guys, let go, we're good. And you can pick this up and she's good. As far as wiring goes back here, you've got your marker lights. They're not really in the way. Uh, your main connection is gonna be your camera, this right here, and then this bad boy. And uh, this guy down there. So you just gotta disconnect those. And that right there. We've evolved. I have two milk crates right here, plastic ones, just because I don't wanna scratch any more than, well, at all. I don't wanna scratch it at all. So yeah, blanket, plastic milk crates, that way. They go right in between the uh, those two cavities, and it gives you much more freedom to pull these open, pop these out. This little red piece right there, hopefully you can see me, uh, you're just going to pop that out. That pops out. I know you couldn't see my hand. My hand was probably in the way. And then this right here, you're going to pull down with your left hand and just pull that out. Feels like you're going to break it, as long as the plastic's not super old. Probably won't, just keep that in mind. Going from passenger side over to the driver's side, we will. This right here, I already got it kind of loose. You're pretty much just going to press this down and pull. Going from this cord, just go straight back, get this little plastic pry bar. Once you got that pry bar, you can actually go from the top and it should just, yeah, come right out. So that's free from there. You can just kind of tuck that in there. And then next, we're just gonna have to remove this little clip, gray clip on the bottom. Uh, there is a clip, that way you can pull it out and flip it over. But, oh, once you get that off, yeah, you can just you can just pull it, so. Once you got all those clips off, you just wanna take a quick, brief inventory of, of checklist of what you've been doing. You got the bumper off, wheel well fittings off, got everything else removed, the diffuser, where that attaches removed, all that stuff removed, because now, we're gonna remove the tail lights to get this off once we get this off off. Once all this inside, once the guts are unclipped and removed, you should be able to slowly just pull her off like that. And now, you being the genius I am, I have to figure out where to put this for uh, the time being. A bench might wanna be something you add to the list of things you want, because I could see this actually being very convenient when I go to pull this spoiler off. Just a, just a fun fact. I'm really proud of myself right now. Didn't even think, but that's, that's, that's tactical. All right, now that we've got that situated, we'll deal with that once we get the framework done because we have to take that off and go to that and do all that stuff. We've also added some horsepower to the video. This is just gonna pull off. You got that, that, just those two, and that's 
gonna relieve this. Yeah, that comes off easy. Yeah. This came out super easy, looks like a TIE fighter, and uh, yeah, so I think the next step is where the real fun begins, where we start to kind of fab some stuff up. This should be easy, have no fear. If you made it this far, don't worry, you can, you can complete it till the end. You've, you've done the odd stuff, the feels like you're gonna break stuff. Now you actually get to break stuff. Just keep in mind, you can do the rest of this. It's not as hard as you think, it's simple. It just might not be easy. It's easy too though. Also, these two little pieces, don't need them. Well, you, I mean, like you need them, but you, you need don't need them in the way, so you're gonna remove them. Once you get that removed, uh, to get these, where are they at, these brackets? The goop right here, this stuff. This is what they use to mount the frame to the tub. Uh, it's, you know, an adhesive, but like a super, super aggressive adhesive, and I wanted to get this Dremel just to show you how intense this stuff actually is on my dog. No, just kidding, but uh, yeah. Show you on here, I can see this dust right there. I'm thinking wood chisel, sharp wood chisel to try and bump this stuff out. I think it'll work. Move this thing out of the way just so she's nice and safe. It's really hot out too, so I'm in luck. You just gotta bump this out because these brackets are gonna be going and fitting in here against this stuff. So you just gotta clean out these areas, show you everything intricately along the way. But first, let's see if we can get these big chunks out. What are you doing? It's not your water. Wow. What is this? That's one of them. Well, that's like that's like 1% of it. Just got to get the rest. I'm not going to show you that. Just imagine me doing it. 1% was a bit of an exaggeration. So we got this big chunk out. Uh, the way you're gonna use the wood chisel is just pretend that this, uh, my finger, is the dead blow I have, that little brass hammer. You wanna start from the furthest point, I would say one of these points, Dremel in so you just flush. Get under, tap, 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 so you get to the bottom, and you wanna get, you know, past that point, kinda like a cross line, cross mark, that way you're 100% there, and then do it on this side too. And then just work your way in. And eventually, you can get the Dremel, Turn it on, full power, beep, and then just beep, and bring it all the way in. This is not on full power, but it was, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Keep it pretty, that is uh, the name of the game. Keep it pretty and functional. And did I say that only took six minutes? Because you bet your darn booty, it only took six minutes. When I'm pulling this out too, I'm just kind of twisting it clockwise, counterclockwise, just to see if I can break any of it loose or if I have to keep going piece at a time. Probably get the Dremel in there now. This has a bit of a lip on the inside, like an indented lip where that stuff gets pressed in, as you can see. Uh, you don't need to go past that because the way this bracket is gonna mount in, once I move this stuff, it'll fit in right under that. Right under that, oh God, this is hot. Final step of all this, just so you see, this is the amount of epoxy that we broke off. One says one R, one says one L. And I'm pretty sure the way they line up, you can see how they line up. Two holes there, one hole there. So L is gonna be for your left, this left side, the driver's side. And then one R is gonna be over here. Get R10 and loosen the bumper bracket. That way you can fit these in here, like that. But just a little bit better. You're gonna have to pull these out, bend them up. Yeah, they slide right in that way. You just wanna line these up. You're gonna have to cut these, so I'm just gonna make sure I know how deep that is in there. Just create a way I can get around this cut up so this can fit flush in there and then you're good that's what it looks like before we start to drill everything in plant the bridge and then get the arms upright and yeah get a sharpie pull this out
Got that all drilled out. I'm gonna clean it up once I get a file. And let's just see if this. Sweet. You may be wondering at this point, Matt, what screws do I use? What bolts do I use? What washers? Okay, so there's five here. I'll take the short ones. I got two in already just to secure it. And they're gonna go three, four, and then five. And problem solved. So drill them in. Boom, 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 and boom. Just uh, don't have them super snug just because we're gonna put that bridge in next. Before getting this bridge connected, it's got this tap and die and cleaned out these threads. I would highly recommend on all these pieces, just clean out the threads due to the powder coating of this black finish on them. Looks great, but the aluminum gets just a little, you know, there's really no way to avoid it. To get that on there, we're gonna have to mount these. And by doing that, we need to remove this because they are going to fit in there. And we're gonna have to tap that out. Bam. And then that's what's gonna get this, uh, I might be holding this upside down right now, but you get the point. <laughs> to pull this back trim piece out, uh, just to see where we are in the car. You got that, and then you got that. These little hooks for, I think, the cargo net. Never installed mine. I really need to. I probably should, though. I do grocery shopping on this. Put that over there. And this should, in theory, come out. Just lifted up this trim. I, I did unscrew these two things on each side. Lifted up the trim. I checked up. On the uh, carpet, you don't you don't need anything in the carpet. I definitely shouldn't do this right now. My hands are dirty. I'm not gonna touch that. But uh, I was just looking in here, trying to see if I could pop it open. And there's these two plastic pegs in there. It just popped right out. I didn't even use that much force. Just popped right out. That's about all you need because you got the end of those rivets. Not this guy right here, but uh, if you go up. A little bit, yep, right there, right there, right there. I thought I was gonna. Let's do it. Let's drill those out and get this mounted on, and then we can mount these, I believe, on, and then we can mount this on after we take the taillights out, which I already did. And by the way, the taillights, easy, easy screws, seven millimeter, pretty sure, seven millimeter. And you can see where they are, one there, 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 and there, but they're gonna be backwards on here. And then a clip, all you gotta do is just pull this clip out and then it releases. This is getting easier and easier as we go. Filming and slowing us down a little, about two hours in. There's only two of these long bolts in the entire kit. There's a bolt and there's a nut to go on the other end, I, I believe, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Quarter inch drill bit. So we're gonna drill right through there on both sides where we pulled it up from. Third one in, drop it in, fits snug, good. That's how you uh, know. Obviously quarter inch is the size you wanna use, but just that's just confirming. Trust but verify if you're about to drill a hole in your uh, $100,000 vehicle. Well, these have depreciated. I have safety glasses on. Just gonna secure my arm. That's drilled out, time for the next one. Both holes drilled, she goes in, she goes in. That's what we need to see, want to see, and, and technically need to see. In from the head, uh, on the outside, bolt right here, going in from the inside. Before we do anything with that bolt, we're just gonna make sure this lines up and get our bolts in on this side as well. Do the same on the other side, and then we can mount that bracket. You see this? I got all these screwed in already. I'm gonna start using the chrome bolts. Still got those longer golden looking ones, and yeah. We're in there. So now let's get Got a ratchet in there, holding that. And then this, just to tighten it. Easy as pie. You see these, this little plethora of bolts that we have here, these guys? The ones that you have the most of are going to populate these holes. There's an arrow facing up, left, and right. And then you just need four of these and you're gonna drop them all into there as you put it up. And don't fully tighten it, just make it kind of snug. 
you can tighten these as long as this stuff all fits. Once you got that on, just make sure, go back and make sure everything's tight now. You can fully tighten everything. After that, you're going to be looking for these. There's two of them. You're going to want to put them on like that. Have these three holes back this way. Just like that. That is the finished product of what you should have on the left side and then just dupe that onto the right side. As you're doing this, make sure all this stuff level. Use a torpedo level. Uh, next thing we're going to mount on there is the H bracket. Sure, but it's going to go right there. And then you're going to use wobbly, wobbly, wobbly of the five. You're going to put them up here. You're going to mount in and use these guys again. Let's grab these and go this mount in like that. And then you can tighten them all up once you're done with that. That's what it's going to look like once you get this all mounted up. I'm um, just tightening the remaining two. We got to take the old spoiler off and then we can line up the new spoiler and drill these holes, get these lined up and ready to go. I'm just putting these in first before we take that old spoiler off. It's this stuff right here. That guy, I think the, is there a number on it? No, there's not a number on this, but it's, you can't confuse it with anything else. Uh, it's gonna go on top of these little brackets. Again, take the uh, most common bolts that we have. This is just so there's clearance uh, for the hatch to shut. Again, make sure all this stuff's level. You don't want to put the wing on, just to find out that your wing is leaning to the left or the right or something. Bumper will go over this, splitter, Spoiler, I'm sorry. And then you drill the holes, boom. For those of you crushing this right now, take a second and sit back and just look at how cool that looks. Next, we're gonna have to take this bad boy off just so we can mount the new one, which is accompanied by some adhesive, I believe. And then there's bolts under there. So we're gonna have to do a little menage a trois and flip this over. I'm not kidding when I say to get a bench, a little seat like that, throw a blanket over it and you can use this as like a horse basically because of the arms, I'm, I'm just gonna recommend you do that. Because this is such an awkward bumper. Look at that, this is cake. One, two, three. Four. Five. Eight. Now, I've heard that this is adhesive on, but okay. All right, never mind. Never mind. Kind of. Actually, no, not at all. That was a 10 millimeter for all those. I'm gonna grab an eight to get that brake light off. Fun fact, I didn't know that that was a separate piece. I thought that was part of that spoiler. We're gonna unplug this for the brake light and then take these eight mils out. Uh, the eight mils, they're, they're seven mils, okay. Um, this thing, just gonna put it in here and pop it up. This should pop right out, thankfully. Uh, that doesn't need to be removed. I don't think, but the bolts do. So, seven millimeter. Taking it all the way out would help. Okay. Got it. That came out. If anybody wants this, let me know. Spoiler, kind of like this. Break light right there, that's gonna plug right in. We're not gonna do any of that yet. Again, bench saving my life. Hanger on here one more time. Just from up there, be gentle so you don't break these plastic brackets or fiberglass bracket, blah, brackets. I'm gonna go on here, I'm gonna figure out where we need to cut this, which is gonna be pretty much right there. Do uh, you have a marker? Okay, marker. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just kind of get a quick outline, and you know, we just gotta go outside of that, so. And now once we get that out, then we can measure the length of that and just go straight. And obviously it's gonna be the same distance as that is. Um, yeah, so, time to cut. This is the one thing I wasn't really looking super forward to doing. But if you do wanna revert back to the old one for some reason, that'll cover all this. Obviously, this stuff hasn't even seen the light of day. So you just wanna figure out where you're gonna be cutting this and just cover it with some tape. That way you don't get any spider cracks or hairline cracks or anything, anything unnecessary. It's just kind of protecting you. Bring the camera in a little bit closer and look down, like down there. You're gonna have to cut through that cavity as well. Tighten all this stuff up back here.
close this. You can pop it open from the front. I don't think you can from the back. It's probably unplugged. You're gonna have some debris if you're not wet, doing this wet. Um, you're not wet cutting it. So I'm just gonna make some square incisions here and then I'll get the Dremel, which I have down here. What the, let's hope I don't cut my bumper and And uh, yeah, we can do a little test fit. Now that you got the upright holes cut out, you can attach this. I may have said this earlier in the video, but five of these little Allen bolts uh, with five washers as well. Yank off the 3M tape too, just make sure that this fits on there because once this tape is on there, you're gonna lose adhesion from the tape and uh, any, any bit counts with this arrow. This isn't really the main thing, but it's still good to, uh, still good to have it connected well. Get the two lower bolts on that bracket drilled and then we can start putting some of the stuff back and yeah, then we can get the wing on. It is that time. Just a quick look at this. While it's on. To get this stuff all buttoned back up and squared away, uh, you're not really gonna need to go back into this side. Tail lights back on, hold off on the trim pieces because you have to still get that T15, that's, I think that, but somewhere in there. Um, for now, what we're gonna do is saddle all this stuff up. This, it, you can mount it anywhere else, really. I, honestly, it's not going anywhere if you leave it there. But we gotta take care of these now, and for that, if you remember these from earlier, we got four pop rivets. You're probably wondering why. The reason why is because we got four holes right there. We're gonna drill them out on each side, and then rivet two in, and five thirty seconds. All four rivets in. Grab 10 millimeter, make sure this little bumper bar is back in place. Back on. Once you finish all that, this, that right there is a good feeling because the bumper's almost ready to go back on. You just gotta do all the clips and everything inside, get the Torx bolts in here and then put that trim back on and then you can seat this in and get your arms, which are right here for the trim on. Then you can wrestle all that stuff in, throw the little rockers on there, put the, where's the wing? The wing's in there, put the wing on and then get those on and you're good to go. Once you get all that stuff buttoned up, pop the trim on for the tail lights and uh, this is the fun part. The, uh, the part that I wish was the only part, but whatever, it's fine. It really wasn't that bad at all. Uh, wings right there, uprights are here, the rockers and the winglets, the side pieces about to go on. So just screw these in. Again, typical small little headed Allen wrenches or Allen keys and you're good. All right, so once you get this on, well, you're gonna need an extension like this to get it on. I mean, it doesn't have to be this excessive, but as long as it's six, eight inches, any any taller than that, just cause these kind of bow out. A R and A L, you're gonna have it. So the lettering is on the inside of these arms. Obviously you wouldn't want it on the outside because you could see that super easily. Once the wing goes over top, you're good. Next, we're gonna get these rockers. These right here, these little things, and they're gonna see on there, uh, I think this way, I believe. We'll, we'll see, first I gotta get them in. That was quite random, we just had a torrential downpour real quick, like a sun shower, but it got everything wet. Uh, we had to take a quick intermission, which we've actually been doing, kind of doing all day, just having fun with this. There's only one way these can go on, thank God, because when I was looking at them before on the 
uprights? I was very confused. Luckily, very simple. You get these, six of these, and your Allen key. My bad in the other clip, I called the, those Allen bolts an Allen wrench and then an Allen key. Yeah, they're bolts, screws, whatever you want to call them. Similar principle as of earlier, I got everything tightened down. Just showing you the last few turns, but we've got all this in. These you can make nice and tight, real nice and tight. Moment I've been waiting for, probably you too. Get this on there. You got four of these and then four of those other ones that are a bit longer go right in. We almost used them earlier, but we didn't. So you just tighten them back in. This has a two-way adjustable. Uh, you can either go flat, more level, or up a little bit. I still don't understand or I can't decide which one I like the most. So we're just going to wing it and see where it lands. So have fun with that but you've got a wing now. The higher option right here, that's not bolted in, so maybe a, a little bit lower. And then I, I think this is as level as you can get, I believe. I don't know, whatever you like best, do. Or... That looks good though. Ooh. Last thing, last, the winglets. They look like they're on backwards. This is the OEM shape and everything, so you, you can't even argue anything. Uh, Double-sided tape, yeah. I know what you're thinking, don't worry. But body kits are held together by 3M tape. A lot of stuff you see in seam held together with 3M tape. They tend to go excessive speeds. I'm not telling you to test this out, but I talked to the guys at EOS, they told me, totally fine. I told them the speeds I drive, and they were excessive, and they said, yep, you will be fine. And uh, yeah, so this is not me, I'm not, a, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm just telling you, you're good. This is, this is good, proper equipment that you normally get with everything. Um, double side tape, pop it off. What you're gonna wanna do is get a rag, like this, or maybe even just like something that doesn't have uh, that, that debris or any byproduct from it, and uh, Trying to peel this off right now. Got it. Some alcohol. Rub that in. Get your dumb, greasy, human, oily hands off and uh, yeah, just get her on. Best way to do this is just to line it up from the front and press. Once you do this, I would just lean on it for a little bit. Just kind of pet it, love it. Say hello to your new ZR1 wing. Blood, sweat, and tears are just invested in this. Took us about, we went back and forth throughout the day. Honestly, we're doing other stuff. So we started around like, I'd say 10, I started taking pictures and stuff just cause I'm posting them and whatnot. And then around like one o'clock, we really got into it. After all that, yeah, it's seven o'clock right now. So about six hours, six hours between, between two people. And that's with no instructions. I am the instructions. I'm making this so you guys have a much more pleasant time pumping this stuff out and getting on your car. And uh, yeah. Let that cure. I wouldn't drive immediately, but uh, or, you know, the longer the better. And we'll do the other side. That thing looks good. I definitely like it better than the Stage 3 Z06 spoiler. Uh, I love how that ducktail looks in like some angles, but this looks better in more angles than that does. I will definitely say that, I, th I think. Um, good stuff. Got this off. That's wiped down. And we're gonna do the same thing. Go from the front. All the way to the back. There's only one way these can go on. You can't mess this up. Lean on it. Uh, yeah. So, with that being said, I I think we're done here. So enjoy. Questions, comments, concerns, yes, it's the next day. They're gonna be answered in a separate video. Comment down below what you wanna know about this and you ask the questions. I will answer them as quick as I can. Be patient with me. We get a ton of traffic uh, through, you know, it just everybody that comments and stuff on our, our platforms and whatnot. Look, 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 look. I'll answer it. And the more questions you ask, the more answers I give, the more people that come in and ask more questions, you're gonna be able to know everything you can, FAQ, all that stuff, intricacies, whatever. I'll make ownership reviews and stuff with it too, but just, mm, mm, ooh, I love it. I seriously love it. This is where we will actually end the video. If you did make it this far, just a quick reminder, 
And again, for your advantage, I, I really don't care if you guys subscribe or not or whatever for my own benefit. Yeah, it helps the channel. It gets more uh, support to the channel and that way we can team up with more companies and, and do cool stuff like this. Really thank you guys that, that do care and do wanna do that, but you don't have to. But on your end of things, for your benefit, other than that stuff, supporting the channel kinda helps bring more content to you, but regardless, just subscribe, it'll show you videos. Future, past, current, frequent, whatever, playlists. Got a ton of playlists, uh, video playlists, playlists with videos in them, can't speak. Got a ton of them with the Porsches and this and everything. So that's that. Just remember, do it at your own pace, at your own free will. I'm not gonna force it on you. Where am I? Is this forcing it? I don't know. I don't know what else to do other than just to go out and enjoy the, the car. It's a little dirty right now, maybe I'll wash the car. I think I should. Definitely think I should, but you can't ignore the fact that, A, we need to put the side skirts on. <laughs> That's the one thing, but we lowered it, we got the front end on, the tints on, all that stuff. Ooh, the wraps off. This Arctic white has never looked so good with that black wing. Carbon flash, really good stuff. This thing's frame mounted too, so it's not going anywhere, man. I mean, I, 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 am, I am very interested in maybe even pulling the car with it. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. That's a lot of force. But I think we could. La, 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 la.